Welcome everyone, we are the UPC 22 team and we are representing the ACI student chapter from the Peruvian University of Applied Science from Lima, Peru. More than a decade after the start of the construction boom in Peru, while cities are growing, the amount of garbage produced by them is increasing and I'm not referring to just any waste, but to brick, glass, concrete, remains of ceramics, among others, that are produced by the demolition of different types of structures. Since 2013, waste has not stopped increasing and more than 19 tons of clearing are produced daily mainly affecting our rivers and seas. The worst thing is that it seems that nobody cares. And if nobody does anything, Lima, a city in full development and with a lot of potential, could end up buried in the garbage of its own growth. But how can we solve this problem? Recycled concrete is defined as aggregate resulting from the processing of inorganic materials previously used in the construction industry. This is mainly used in pavement reconstruction. It has also been used as aggregate in granular sub-bases, lean concrete, and in new concrete as a total or partial replacement of conventional aggregate. A clear example of accessibility is CDE Global. It is an Irish global company located in Australia, Brazil, Texas, the Middle East, Africa, India, Austria, and England. This company annually derives more than 17,000 tons of construction and demolition waste, which undergoes a rigorous treatment that guarantees high-quality recycled aggregates. It has also contributed to more than 100 recycling projects internationally. Why is accessibility to this construction material important? Well, during the past few years, we've known that on-site construction waste requires some treatment to activate its full potential. However, there are still countries that do not recognize the great variety of recycled concrete factories around the world. That is why we would like to mention some companies, for instance, Cyclo in Lima, Peru, Reciclados Industriales in Colombia, Recycled Concrete in Mexico, and SBR in Brazil. Due to the large tons of debris, Brazil implemented a treatment for the recycling of construction waste through Ganama in 2002. Although recycled concrete has been known for more than a decade, it is still an innovative concept in the 21st century, because few countries use recycled concrete stone in their infrastructures. That is why there are numerous researches, such as durability of concrete with polymer-treated mixed recycled aggregates, recycled aggregates for self-compacting concrete, that implement this material in innovative designs. In Australia, 4 million Australian dollars were saved on the Wen Sterling Road Construction Project in Melbourne by separating and diverting waste concrete, rock, asphalt, steel, and wood from landfill. The damping of more than 15,000 cubic meters of concrete was avoided. In addition, Transportation costs, including fuel consumption and CO emissions, were reduced, and the unnecessary disposal of valuable materials that can be recovered and reused was reduced. In recent years, the use of recycled concrete from pavements, buildings, and other types of structures as a source of aggregates has shown savings in both material and energy in several projects. Operation of a material as a widely used as concrete requires the use of non-renewable raw materials that generate a negative environmental impact. Likewise, the waste generated in the constant demolitions is wasted and thrown, which contributes to pollution. In Colombia, 8,000 tons of debris are generated daily as a result of demolitions. The city of Bogota was the first to solve the inadequate management of construction and demolition waste, since it caused contamination of natural resources, and began by recycling between 5 and 10% of the 2,000 cubic meters that were produced annually. For this reason, starting in 2010, they produce new materials based on waste for the delivery of public and private works. In Colombia, projects with recycled concrete cost 
20% less than projects that are built in the traditional way. In Portugal, studies were carried out, investigating the properties and recycled aggregate for use in construction and yielded the following results. These materials are viable for use in construction, however they do not have the same characteristics as conventional aggregates. Their properties largely depend on the type of recycling process that was carried out. Its main advantage is sustainability. Among its main differences is that the recycled aggregate has a high absorption capacity due to its porosity and a small specific gravity. This negatively influences the mechanical properties and durability of the concrete. An optimal replacement of recycled aggregate would be 25% by conventional aggregates. To preserve their mechanical properties since while using the recycled aggregate, the compressive strength, tensile strength, and Jan's modulus decreased slightly. In conclusion, the use of recycled aggregate in concrete is beneficial for the environment not only because it is making a more productive use of the thousands of waste generated by construction around the world, but also to reduce the exploitation of quarries existing, as well as being a more economical option than conventional concrete, with a slight decrease in its mechanical properties, but being viable. Additionally, each year there is more research with new methodologies to provide a better use of recycled aggregate. In Peru, The main company in charge of solid waste is called Cyclo and is in charge of the management of solid waste from construction. However, due to the country's informality, mainly in the capital, there is a lot of construction and demolition waste that could be recycled for use in the construction sector. We are UPC 22. Thank you.